have a super nice breakfast. They had they had waffles and they had eggs and sausage and sausage gravy and toast. Nice breakfast. We are at the factory antique mall in Verona and we have discovered Bigfoot several several little Bigfoots <laughs> there's a dragon oh there's a reclining alien another reclining alien and another one over there This place is huge. It just keeps going and going and going. You can see it way down there. Look at the hand crocheted tablecloth. A lot of work went into that. There's another hand crocheted tablecloth or bed cover. They were really popular at one point. It's a lot of work. More than I'm going to ever do. <laughs> that one's reasonably priced. It's 20 But this one, <laughs> none of the ends are woven. It's really weird. She didn't weave the center ends in or trim them. Strange. So, sorry the lighting's not great here. Um, Dave's in a shop, so I thought I would show you what I got at that really big antique mall. Not much. I'm Dave's cheap date. <clears throat> First off, I got, this is uh, Corel Ware. There's four little dessert plates. And there you can see it. This is a pattern I have. And I've collected it, like, from eBay and at a... At a outlet store that was going out of business so I can always use this size plate because they weren't really good for sandwiches and things and it was uh, they took the price off it was $12.99 so roughly $13 and then it was 20% off of that so I got four plates so that was purchase number one so if you've watched any of my my videos where I talked about some of the dishes I have um, I also have Falls Graph Yorktown pattern. There you can see it. It's getting blown out in the light. This is actually, this is Yorktown, but it's, it's, this isn't the traditional Yorktown pattern. Um, but it will work. And it's a, it's a little gravy thing. And I have a great big, like a mixing bowl with a spout on it. And I have a little creamer, but I don't have something this size for gravy and stuff. And I have tons of pieces of the Falls Craft Yorktown. I never have paid much for it. Um, I bought most of the dinner plates at a second, um, at the Falls Craft outlet up in the seconds department. So I've never paid like full price for any of them. And because it's such a popular pattern and Falls Craft is in the Pennsylvania area, um, you see a lot of it at yard sales. So the majority of all of the Falls Craft that I've gotten, I've gotten at secondhand stores or flea markets, yard sales, things like that. Um, yeah, so, and that's the China. Between the Corel Ware and my Falls Craft, that's what I use all the time uh, because I have place settings for 12 for both of them, which sounds like a lot, but that way Dave and I can go through quite a bit of dishes before I have to run the dishwasher. And um, when my kids all come over, just the grandkids alone, there's 11 of them. So, um, yeah, I have to have at least place settings of 12 to make it work. Um, now, my good china is Blue Danube, and I just started collecting that maybe a year ago or so. I had some chi china that I got at Kmart before Dave and I even got married. Um, I think I paid $20 for it, so I finally got tired of it after 40-some years, and I sold it, and so I started just going on eBay, and when I would see some of the Blue Danube, um, I would buy that when I would see a good deal on it, so I'm always looking for it at flea markets and stuff, too, and, and um, yeah, it's just something fun to collect that I can actually use that doesn't, 
it takes up space, but at least it's usable. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. It's lunchtime and we are at Mickey D's. Dave has a quarter pounder with cheese and we share the fries. So I have a McDouble and then I just eat a couple of his fries. So that's what we're eating before we head to our next stop. We are at the cheese shop in Stewart Draft, Virginia. It's an Amish owned place with lots of yummy goodness. Okay, we were really naughty. We got things we shouldn't have gotten, but we're looking forward to eating them. We got a shoe fly pie mix. We got homemade Kobe Jack cheese. Dave got sugar-free no sugar added chocolate peanut caramel patties. I got some cinnamon pecans. These are my absolute favorite praline pecans. I got these last year and they were so yummy. And Dave got some sugar free malted or no sugar added malted milk balls. And then I got cocoa dusted almonds. And then Dave's diabetic, in case you didn't know why we have a lot of the sugar-free or no sugar added. I got some blackstrap molasses. I went to make ginger cookies at Christmas time and I had an awful time finding molasses. So when I saw it here, I grabbed it. And then we have homemade blueberry jam with no sugar added. And apple butter with no sugar added. Dave likes to put this on top of pork, like pork chops or pork ribs and things. So that's what we got today. We are at Stewart's Draft Antique Ball. So we'll see what they got. I found two of these and two of the cups that go to my blue jam lube set. It's a different set, but it matches it perfect. Anyway, three dollars a piece. It's a big cup in the saucer. So, happy about that. There's Dave very patiently pushing the cart. <laughs> and this is another pretty good sized place. We are at our last place of the day, Alpha and Omega Antique Mall. So here we go. Well, tonight we are in a Motel 6, and it's nowhere near as nice as the last one. There's Dave. It's also very small. But anyway, they, it'll work. It's clean. That's the important thing. Close. Yeah. <laughs> and it does have a large bathroom in here. Uh, except the light isn't working. That's a problem. We need a light. So here is the bathroom. Katrina hit the wrong light switch. There's two. I hit the wrong one. Anyway. Oh, well. Yes. Problem solved. So yes, that's the good thing. Problem solved. And there is the tub. Like I said, nowhere near as nice as yesterday's, but it will do in a pinch. And they don't have a full breakfast. They just have a continental breakfast. So just like bagels and cereal and stuff. But you know, it's food. So. That's our tour. So we are at Scotto's. Dave already ate his salad. What's the thing you're eating? Chicken carbonara. Ch chicken carbonara? I thought it was carbonara. Tuscana. I thought it was Tuscana. Yeah. Chicken Tuscana. There it is. It looks good. And we got this delicious crusty bread. It's soft inside and crunchy on the outside. Mm. And look what I got. 
It's three stuffed shells with mascarpone and ricotta and a bacon alfredo sauce with tom with a tomato sauce and it has Italian sausage in it and there's that piece of bread. Mm. Yum, it looks delicious.